Have you ever felt that someone was hiding something from you, that their words weren't entirely truthful? Those moments make us wonder whether we can trust what we're hearing. Deception, in its many forms, can come from anywhere, whether from strangers or, more heartbreakingly, from the very people we once believed would never hurt us. But how do we recognize those subtle signs, those nuanced expressions that a liar might unintentionally reveal? Stoic philosophy, a school of ancient thought with timeless ideas, teaches us how to handle such situations. It emphasizes calmness, maintaining a clear mind, and not letting emotions cloud our judgment. By doing so, we can keenly observe the smallest signs in others' words and behaviors, seeing through the facade to uncover the truth. In this video, we will explore seven signs that someone might lie to you, and how to apply Stoic philosophy to understand these seemingly mysterious behaviors better. Join us on this journey, a quest for truth, where we not only uncover hidden intentions, but also learn to face deception with a steadfast heart and a strong mind. Number one, quick to change the subject. In everyday life, there are moments when you're conversing with someone and notice that they abruptly change the subject, as if they're trying to avoid something. This can be a subtle sign that they are attempting to hide the truth or are unwilling to continue discussing a specific matter. From the perspective of a Stoic philosopher, this hurried shift in topic isn't merely a change in conversation. It reflects a deeper psychological state, anxiety, and fear of being exposed. Epictetus, a famous Stoic philosopher, once said, If anyone tells you that a certain person speaks ill of you, do not make excuses about what is said of you, but answer, He was ignorant of my other faults, else he would not have mentioned these alone. This advice isn't just about remaining calm in the face of criticism, but also about how we confront the truth, no matter how uncomfortable it may be. A Stoic always strives for transparency and honesty because facing the truth, however bitter, is preferable to living in deception. When someone quickly changes the topic, they may be avoiding the truth, fearing exposure, Imagine asking a colleague about a task they were assigned and they immediately shift to praising the other projects they've completed. They speak of their past achievements but evade the specific question about the current task. Why do they do this? They may feel ashamed of not completing the task or may be trying to dodge their responsibility. The question arises Will you accept that avoidance, or will you look directly at the truth being concealed? Stoic philosophy encourages us to maintain a calm mind and stay focused on the present. When faced with evasion, it is crucial not to let anger or negative emotions cloud our judgment. Marcus Aurelius, in Meditations, wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. We cannot control whether others lie or hide the truth, but we can control how we respond to such avoidance. Instead of becoming angry or frustrated, we should remain calm and ask subtle, probing questions to uncover the truth. For example, in a discussion between entrepreneurs about a failed venture, one person might abruptly shift the topic when asked about the reasons for the failure. Instead of answering directly, they start talking about the potential for future projects. This could signal a lack of confidence or even an attempt to hide crucial information about the shortcomings of the previous venture. This is where the stoic mindset is essential, not rushing to judgment but also not being easily misled by eloquent words. 
Stoics like Seneca emphasize the importance of understanding both oneself and others. Seneca once wrote, he who is brave is free. Courage lies not only in facing challenges, but also in accepting the truth. If someone quickly changes the subject, we should ask ourselves, what are they afraid of? And do we have the courage to bring the issue back up and ask for a clear answer? Ultimately, the sudden change of topic can reveal a lot about the inner state of the person in front of you, whether it be insecurity, fear of exposure, or simply discomfort with the truth. With a stoic heart, we not only observe this sign, but also ask questions to dig deeper, so we are not swept away by lies and deception. By keeping a clear and calm mind, we can see through the facade and find the truth in a fuller and more sincere way. Number two, defensive without cause. When someone becomes overly defensive without any clear reason, it could be a sign that they are trying to hide the truth. In Stoic philosophy, maintaining a clear and calm mind in any situation is essential. When we notice someone being excessively defensive, it's a sign of a troubled mind, fearing exposure. As Marcus Aurelius wrote in Meditations, if someone can show me that what I think or do is not right, I will happily change, for I seek the truth. A Stoic philosopher does not fear the truth and is not afraid of change, because they understand that defensiveness often stems from concealing something that isn't genuine. When we approach someone with a simple question and they immediately react strongly, denying or acting offended, it often reflects more about them than about us. For example, if you ask a colleague about an incident at work, intending simply to listen and understand the situation, but they respond angrily with defensive phrases like, I'm not responsible for that, or why do you think I'm wrong? This reaction could indicate that they are feeling insecure or anxious that their words or actions might be exposed. Stoic philosophy teaches us that a person with nothing to hide will not fear the truth. As Epictetus wrote in Discourses, a man can't learn what he thinks he already knows. When a person is unwilling to listen or learn more about a situation, and instead focuses solely on defending their position, they are asserting that what they know is correct, even if it might not be. This is a sign of insincerity, as they are not truly concerned with the truth, but with shielding themselves from being discovered. In real-life situations, we often observe this behavior in close relationships. For example, if a partner is asked about an event they attended and they respond by questioning back, saying, why don't you trust me? Or, why do you always think badly of me? This can lead the questioner to feel guilty and lose sight of the original question, missing the lack of transparency from the other person. Such defensiveness is a way to divert attention and avoid directly addressing the issue thereby unintentionally revealing that they are hiding something. In Stoic philosophy, we are encouraged not only to seek the truth in others, but also within ourselves. When noticing someone's unreasonable defensiveness, we should ask, is this reaction because I've hurt them, or are they hiding something? This question is not meant to accuse, but to understand the nature of the situation. By equipping ourselves with patience and clarity, we can see the truth behind these defensive walls without letting emotions lead us astray. Next, let's move on to sign number three. But before we do, I have a question for you. Have you ever met someone who told you a story with details so perfect that they seemed unbelievable? They describe every event in vivid clarity 
from the color of the walls to the smallest sound, as if everything had been meticulously prepared in advance. In Stoic philosophy, we learn that the truth doesn't need to be overly complicated or elaborate. Intricately crafted details are often a sign that someone is trying to conceal something rather than simply telling the truth. Number 3. Overpolished details. When faced with these perfect stories, ask yourself, why do they remember every tiny detail so clearly? A truthful person tends to recount events naturally, often without remembering every detail, because our brains aren't designed to store everything perfectly. In reality, when people lie, they tend to overcompensate by creating a version of the story that's meticulously crafted, with every detail carefully arranged to make it more convincing. But this very perfection can backfire, creating an unnatural feeling. As Marcus Aurelius wrote in Meditations, If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. When someone is lying, no matter how hard they try, the deception will eventually reveal itself through exaggerated or overly perfect details. Lies often need embellishment, whereas truth does not. For a Stoic, truth is always simple and clear and doesn't need decoration. Calmness and clarity allow us to see that when a story seems too perfect, it might be a sign of dishonesty. Have you ever heard of Lance Armstrong, one of the most famous cyclists in the world? Armstrong won seven Tour de France titles and built a reputation as a symbol of resilience and determination after beating cancer. Throughout his career, he told perfect stories about relentless training, disciplined living and sheer willpower all to justify his extraordinary success. Every detail in his stories seemed carefully prepared and meticulously polished. Not only once did Armstrong deny all accusations of using performance-enhancing drugs, but he also fiercely attacked those who questioned him. However, as Stoic philosophy often points out, the truth doesn't need to be dressed up. One day, Armstrong's perfect story came crashing down when the truth was exposed. He had used doping throughout his career to achieve those celebrated victories. The finely crafted details he once told turned out to be a cover for a massive lie. From a sports hero, he quickly became a symbol of deceit in the sporting world. Marcus Aurelius, in Meditations, wrote Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be, be one. Armstrong spent years defending his perfect image instead of simply living with integrity. His story is a clear example of the sign we're discussing. Overly polished details can be a cover for suspicious truths. The complexity in a story is sometimes a way for people to manipulate the listener's perception distracting us from hidden contradictions. Epictetus once said, it is not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. When someone provides too many details, ask yourself, are they trying to make you believe in something too perfect? As Epictetus points out, life cannot be perfectly controlled. An honest person won't try to achieve that they will recount events, even if they're not perfect, with truth. So, when you hear a story filled with overly perfect details from a famous person, a colleague, or anyone else, pause and reflect. Ask yourself, are they telling the truth, or are they constructing a perfect version to hide something? Stoic philosophy encourages us to listen with clarity, observe and not be easily swayed by the glossiness of words. Number 4. Body turned away from you. Have you ever noticed that when someone is lying, 
they often tend to avoid eye contact, turn their body away, or display signs of nervousness. These unconscious body movements can reveal more than words themselves. Body language is a form of non-verbal communication, and when someone turns away or avoids facing you directly, they are likely hiding a truth they don't want you to discover. So what makes them turn their back on you? Is it just insecurity, or is there a deeper fear of being found out? According to Stoic philosophy, maintaining calm and focus in every situation is key to understanding the true nature of people. When we observe the body language of others, we are not just watching their outward behavior, but also gaining insight into their mood and mental state. As Marcus Aurelius wrote in Meditations, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. A person's soul is colored by their thoughts. When someone harbors dishonest thoughts, these signs manifest in their behavior, no matter how hard they try to hide them. For instance, imagine you're in an important meeting and a colleague begins to turn their body away or act unnaturally when asked about a struggling project. While their words may seem calm, their body language reveals that they are unwilling to face you directly. This is not just a sign of nervousness, but possibly a reflection of dishonesty. In this situation, maintaining your calm and observing in the spirit of Stoic philosophy will allow you to analyze the situation objectively without letting emotions cloud your judgment. When you notice someone turning away to avoid confrontation, the important thing is not to feel angry or betrayed, but to handle the situation with calmness and rationality. Ask yourself, can I encourage the truth to come out by creating a safe space where the other person feels comfortable sharing? How can I maintain my composure to better understand the truth behind their actions? In everyday life, we can encounter similar situations. A friend might suddenly turn away when asked about a sensitive issue, or a stranger in a negotiation may start displaying avoidance behaviors. This body language is not just an unconscious reaction, but also a signal that the mind is under pressure and something is not right. From the stoic perspective, instead of reacting hastily or making quick judgments, we should observe, reflect, and find an appropriate way to approach the situation. Ultimately, what stoic philosophy teaches us is the ability to maintain calm in all circumstances. When someone turns their back on you, both literally and figuratively, remember that patience and rationality not only help you detect dishonesty, but also allow you to approach the truth more effectively and wisely. Join the conversation in the comments. When faced with subtle but meaningful signs like turning body language, how would you react? Can you maintain the calmness and clarity needed to not only recognize dishonesty, but also handle it wisely, following stoic principles? We're halfway through our lesson today. Your presence is a great source of encouragement for us on this journey to bring the true values of stoic philosophy to more people. So like and share this video to spread these lessons to your friends and family. Or comment, I cherish my life, if you're ready to continue the journey with the next three signs. Number five, laughing off serious topics. Have you ever sat across from someone discussing a serious issue only to see them laughing as if the topic wasn't worth any concern? A light chuckle, an unrelated joke, and immediately, something feels off. When someone faces serious matters with humor, they are likely trying to avoid the truth. But why is that? Why does a person choose to joke around when they should be honest and straightforward? 
From the perspective of Stoic philosophy, laughing off serious subjects can be a clear sign of insecurity and avoidance. Epictetus once said, Men are disturbed not by things, but by the views which they take of them. This means that how a person perceives and reacts to a situation determines their behavior. When someone is uncomfortable with the truth, or when they feel anxious about confronting something troubling, they may use laughter as a way to hide their discomfort and avoid the core issue. In this context, laughter isn't just harmless amusement. It's a mask for evasion, a shield against responsibility, and a way to cover something they don't want to confront. As Marcus Aurelius poignantly observed, a person's worth is measured by the worth of what he values. What we value reflects our character. If someone can't face important issues, but instead deflects with humor, it may indicate they are protecting smaller, less meaningful values instead of embracing the truth. Think about everyday situations, like when someone is questioned about wrongdoing at work. If they laugh it off and act as if the issue is not important, this could be a sign of dishonesty or fear of being exposed. They aren't laughing because it's funny. They are laughing because they don't want to delve into the real problem. It's a subtle defense mechanism. Laughter is used to diffuse tension and distract others from what should be discussed seriously. This happens often in personal relationships too. You might ask your partner about something serious, such as honesty in the relationship, and they might respond with a joke or a laugh to lighten the mood. But you should ask yourself, why can't they face the issue? Is their laughter a sign of a lack of transparency? With the mindset of a Stoic philosopher, we learn to observe not just the words spoken, but how a person reacts to the truth. Laughter in serious situations can be a clear indicator that the truth is being hidden. By listening not only with our ears, but with a clear, discerning mind, we can understand what people may be trying to conceal behind their behavior. In the Stoic worldview, every truth should be faced with courage and calmness, not with evasive laughter. Number six, vagueness when pressed for specifics. Have you ever noticed that when someone is questioned about a specific event, they suddenly become vague and unclear in their responses? This is a subtle but crucial sign that something might not be truthful. There's a saying, the truth is clear, but lies are blurry. So why, when faced with direct questions, would someone choose to be vague instead of providing detailed and straightforward answers? From the perspective of Stoic philosophy, vagueness is a manifestation of avoiding the truth. Epictetus emphasized that someone who is not honest with themselves will struggle to confront reality. Therefore, they may try to evade by giving ambiguous answers when asked for details. When someone doesn't provide a clear response or gives incomplete, vague information, it often signals that they are either hiding the truth or avoiding the shame of being caught. A real-world example can be seen in the business world. Imagine a CEO of a large company being questioned about profit figures in an interview. Instead of providing specific data and offering clear explanations, he responds with vague statements like, we're doing well, or the numbers will be released later. This vagueness might not only indicate a lack of preparation, but could also hint at an attempt to avoid the truth that the company is facing difficulties. If this CEO were genuinely transparent and honest, he wouldn't hesitate to present the details, as there would be nothing to hide. Similarly, in personal relationships, if you ask someone about their plans or a particular event, and they respond vaguely, 
saying things like, I don't remember, or we'll talk about it later. It could be a sign of dishonesty. Seneca once wrote, nothing is more honorable than a grateful heart. Honesty and gratitude for trust are core elements of a healthy relationship. When someone dodges with vagueness, they not only break that trust, but also diminish the true value of a sincere connection. This is also evident in politics when a politician is asked to explain their past actions or decisions. If they respond vaguely, without specificity, or avoid direct questions, it might signal concealment. A true leader, as viewed through the lens of Stoic philosophy, will always face the truth and won't shy away from presenting the details of their actions, even if they are imperfect. Transparency, honesty, and straightforwardness are the qualities of a good and trustworthy person. So, when you encounter vagueness when asking someone for details, ask yourself, why can't they provide a specific answer? Ambiguity is often a sign of fear, fear of being exposed, fear of facing reality. With the spirit of Stoic philosophy, we learn not only to recognize dishonesty through vagueness, but also to face the truth with clarity and calmness. Number seven, listen to understand, not respond truly. Marcus Aurelius, in Meditations, wrote, be tolerant with others and strict with yourself. This quote reminds us that when interacting with others, we should listen patiently and calmly without rushing to judge or respond. A true listener is someone who is not carried away by their emotions, but instead focuses on understanding what the other person is trying to convey. However, when someone is not genuinely listening, when they are merely waiting to react, it can be a sign of dishonesty. Instead of sincerely receiving the information, they may be trying to protect themselves or even steer the conversation away from the truth. This often occurs when someone is lying or hiding something, as they avoid engaging deeply with the questions or remarks, hoping to escape more probing inquiries Imagine a live television interview between a politician and a journalist. When the journalist asks sensitive questions, if the politician repeatedly interrupts and gives shallow answers, focusing only on defending themselves rather than truly listening and providing explanations, it is a clear sign that they are unwilling to confront the truth. For example, when former U.S. President Richard Nixon faced accusations related to the Watergate scandal, he often avoided listening to the journalists' questions. Instead, Nixon consistently responded defensively, diverting the questions with irrelevant answers, a clear indication of evasion. Stoic philosophy reminds us that listening is not a passive act, Listening requires focus, calmness, and self-restraint. A person who truly listens is not just hearing sounds. They are trying to understand the deeper meaning behind each statement. In personal relationships, when someone is solely focused on responding rather than listening, the connection within that relationship can quickly deteriorate. You might notice this when discussing matters with a friend or partner. If they are more concerned with replying than paying attention to your feelings and thoughts, it could be a sign that they are not being entirely honest or, at the very least, not fully open. With a stoic mindset, we are encouraged not only to listen to others, but also to listen to ourselves, our thoughts and emotions, to maintain a clear mind. This self-awareness helps us recognize when someone else is not truly listening, allowing us to ask critical questions. Are they listening to understand or are they just waiting to react? 
Honesty in listening is the first step toward building trust. And when we notice its absence, we may be facing dishonesty. When confronted with deceit, we often feel disappointment, hurt, and a loss of trust. But from the perspective of Stoic philosophy, dishonesty is not something to fear. It is an opportunity to cultivate calmness and self-control. The Stoic does not seek to avoid difficulties or dishonesty, but learns to observe and understand them with equanimity. As Marcus Aurelius once said, the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. Instead of being drawn into negative emotions or retaliation, we should learn to maintain clarity of mind, allowing inner peace to guide our actions. Recognizing the seven signs of dishonesty not only helps us protect ourselves from harm, but also gives us insight into human nature. Listening attentively, perceiving issues with clarity, and facing every situation with courage is key to navigating difficult circumstances. Remember, a mind trained by Stoic philosophy is not defeated by lies or deceit, but instead becomes stronger, more confident, and more serene. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button to support the channel. Share your thoughts in the comments and spread the word by sharing this video with friends and family to help promote the valuable teachings of Stoic philosophy. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos on Stoicism and personal development.